Okay, so we have, this is a wet complete, which means drop it off as is. Uh, Jellisons, Jellisons, wet complete, wet complete. Uh, cut cat, cut cat, and Jellison. So three Jellisons, a couple of cut cats, and the rest are just getting uh, dropped, and I'll take the aluminum rims if, if there's any. But, kind of curious about uh, how easy it is for, you know, if you know people are slashing tires, how easy is it for a blade to actually go through a tire? And uh, since these are just getting dropped off and getting crushed, and, you know, nobody's saving parts or nothing, um, let's just plunge it in here and see what happens. So, that's actually a little bit of resistance there, but that's actually surprisingly easy. So, not hard at all. Well, let's cut this one too. Yeah, these tires were never going to be reused, resold, anything like that. This car is literally going directly to the scrapyard as a complete vehicle to be crushed. So, no loss there. So this uh, spare tire here is according... Oh, wow. Another backwards lug nut in the wild. Um, but anyways, this, back, or this tire here, according to the date code, is was made in the 11th week of 2006. So not only is it far beyond a safe normal use, but this vehicle is getting delivered to basically just be crushed. So don't come at me sideways for uh, for doing this, but we're gonna see how easy it is just to slash a tire. So these uh, spares are a little thicker, but it still gets through it. pretty easily so a good sharp knife regular tires are a little easier these spares are a little a uh, little beefier so it takes a little bit of extra juice to to get through them but still doable with a sharp knife <laughs> 